How's it going, Internet? Uh, a few of you guys had told me a while back that you wanted to see like a tour of this room and uh, detail what equipment I use for making videos. So I will do that for you today for the vlog. I will do it. So let's watch. All right, there it is. This is where I spend like way, way too much time. I guess first thing we can talk about, let me close this. Dough. First thing we can talk about is the lighting. There's a big old soft box on a tripod that I borrowed from a buddy of mine who's a photographer and doesn't use it anymore. Over here, I have some Home Depot clip lights. They're like eight bucks. There's one. There's one on the other side. Those are just to light the green screen only, not me. And then up there is another Home Depot clip light to light the top of my head because it tends to get kind of weird with the chroma key. Uh, usually when I'm recording, here let me move it. When I'm recording a video, I'll put this thing right about here, a little closer, and uh, it just lights it all up real good. Tripod's casting a shadow, but it's usually not there, see? So yeah, you get two lights to light the green screen, and one light to light the top of my head, and one light to light up my face. Uh, seems like a lot of work, but it's really not, and it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, we could talk about the green screen. Uh, there it is. I will put a link in the description to the actual model if you want to get it for yourself, but there's a bunch of green screens like this on Amazon. They're pop-out ones. It sits on a little tripod you can see down there, and uh, that was part of the reason I put my desk in the middle of the room like this. Like, it's pretty awkward. It keeps me from having to tear the green screen down every time I can just leave it up and as soon as I turn on my camera I've got green screen behind me so that's pretty cool uh, there's my chair it's kind of red maroon standard issue uh, headphones right now I just got some new ones they have my little face on them uh, these are Bayer dynamic uh, custom one pros uh, they sound so much better than the razor Krakens that are over there don't be jealous razor <laughs> The razors are still very good. I like that they're blue, but the way they sound was kind of annoying to me. Like the bass is very inflated on them. Trying to like EQ stuff or, or work on your voice and stuff while you're using these headphones, it kind of just gets confusing because it doesn't sound on the headphones how it's going to sound in real life. There's some uh, guitar amps and stuff. There's a Marshall JCM 900, an old Yamaha bass combo from the 70s. This is a 60s Fender Bassman guitar cab. There's an Ampeg little bass cab and another Marshall guitar cabinet there. Here's my desk. It's just a freaking desk. It looks like a desk. It's got water and, and tea on it. My keyboard that I use is one of those Apple keyboards. Um, I, this isn't an Apple computer, but the keys... <laughs> you can hear my computer going off. The keys are real quiet, and I don't like hearing the, the keys clacking in videos. I also got this mouse recently from Amazon that is like a, a quiet click mouse. It doesn't click really loud. It, it clicks kind of quiet. Oh, I just accidentally... <laughs> I turned this thing on from clicking. Whoa! Whoops. Monitors, this is some Asus monitor. It came with the computer when I bought it on Craigslist. I don't know anything about it. This is an Apple Cinema display that I also got on Craigslist. I get everything I own off a of freaking Craigslist. All right, so let's talk microphone. This is the boom arm that I got from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description to that as well, but again, there's a whole bunch of them you can get. When you're not talking into the mic, it keeps it way up here out of the way, and you can bend it down without having to have a stand on your desk or at your feet or anything. And it keeps the mic here, like, right in your face. It doesn't have to be in the shot if you put it low enough. Like, here, I'll, I'll hit the preview on OBS. You can get it pretty much, like, right in your face without... See, I can talk and blah, 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 and uh, you won't see the mic. And that's kind of cool. What else? There's a blue hat. Perfect. Let me take this off of here so you can see the microphone itself from the little cage that I built for it. The microphone is a Neumann TLM-102. It's a little condenser mic that's real small and itty bitty. You can see it between my fingers there. It sounds really, really good. Uh, it costs way too much. That's all I can really say about it. So when I'm making a video, my sound goes from my microphone here into the preamp, which is over here. Uh, it's a Joe Meek 3Q preamp. Uh, if you don't know about preamps, they just basically make it louder and sound nicer, boost your sound level so you don't have to boost it on your computer where it's not gonna sound as good. This one has an EQ built in right here. You can see I got my lows pushed up, mids and highs. 
uh, basically pushed everything out like an idiot. From there, it goes to the preamp into this DBX 166 XL compressor and gate. A compressor just makes your quiet stuff louder and your louder stuff quieter so that uh, everything is kind of the same volume. It's really, really good for your, for vocals when you're talking. And then you can see it's also uh, muting whenever I'm not talking. See that? That's uh, when all the lights are lit up, that means it's muted. So that keeps all my ceiling fan noise and my air conditioning noise out of the recording when I'm not talking. When I am recording, it's in there and I don't know how to fix it, so I'll just leave it. My sound goes from that into this mixer here. It's a little Yamaha mixer. Basically, that's my microphone right there. That's from my Xbox or PS4 or whatever. That's from the computer. So I can mix them all together in my headphones and then this goes out to my audio interface. My audio interface is an 8 channel one because I used to record bands and I needed a lot of inputs for drums. It's a Mackie Onyx Blackbird audio interface. I only really use one or two channels anymore, like I'm using two channels right there, stereo from this guy. If you don't know what an audio interface is, it basically just takes the sound from your microphones and converts it into digital so that your computer can understand it. So yeah, the microphone into preamp, into compressor, into mixer, into audio interface, into the computer. This is my computer here. I don't know a whole lot about computers so I can't tell you too much about it. Uh, I got it off Craigslist for $400. It has an Intel Core i5 and some big blue lights. So there you go. This is a little shelfy thing that I have to hold my deodorant up. Super Nintendo, Xbox One, PS4. Uh, I don't even play my freaking Xbox One anymore. I'm just gonna sell it. This is a old, old, not old, old, but kind of old MacBook that I have for whenever my internet kind of is acting up and I can't get uh, signal back here, which happens every now and again. I'll use the Wi-Fi off of this guy and daisy chain it into the computer and just kind of share his Wi-Fi as a last ditch effort to get internet. I've done that many streams whenever my internet was acting up and it freaking sucks, but it's better than not having internet. Oh yeah, we can uh, talk about my studio monitors. These are some speakers I got from Amazon. Uh, they're pretty cheap, they're not amazing quality, but they get the job done and they're accurate, they don't enhance the bass or anything, so if you're mixing music, uh, you know that it's gonna sound about right on other people's stereos. There's a big comfy chair that I like to sit in and ponder my life. Currently, a few pairs of socks are pondering their little lives right there. You guys are gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. That's a homemade vocal booth that I made at one point that I don't really use anymore because I haven't been recording bands, but if I do, I got one. All right, I can't really think of anything else that you guys would want to know about as far as uh, setup and room tour type of stuff. There's my desk, you can see it there. It's pretty not fancy, <laughs> pretty normal stuff. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed getting to see my little back <laughs> back of the house room that's all junked out that I keep all my crap in uh, and spend a whole lot of time. This is like the only place in my house I go anymore. So I like it, but like I said, it's not fancy. People have a lot cooler setups than me, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed getting to see it. I really appreciate you guys watching these little vlogs that I make. It's super fun and I enjoy it. I'm gonna get right off this video and play some The Last of Us and maybe One Late Night because uh, my buddy Jarrett in the comments has been telling me like every two videos like, play One Late Night, play One Late Night. So I'm, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Thanks Jarrett for the suggestion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five. Like, 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 like the video.